are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? It's Maristar A S M R. Welcome back or to my channel. I uh, first wanted to say thank you so much for over 600 subscribers. Uh, I am actually so grateful. And I'm so happy to be here, and I'm so happy that you guys are here supporting the channel and having a little community. It definitely helps create and maintain a form of structure in my life. And it's wonderful to think about, hey, what am I going to do this week to help others fall asleep? And stuff like that. Like, it's amazing. And, I don't know. I'm very happy. Thank you for supporting me. Okay. I'm going to show you my recent art. I honestly, I haven't been drawing much or painting much. So when I mean by recent, it's not like, it's like over the last couple months, but it's not like too far back. But yeah, I have this sketchbook with me because, well, you've seen the old art. That old comic video that I made and that old showing you my old art video that I made but I thought why not show you recent art so that hey you can see progress and like my art doesn't look the same way that it did before <laughs> obviously but you know it just I just want to show that it's not talent but more so I will leave, like, my old art was not good, okay? I, in that past video, you saw it, you saw that comic that I read to you guys, that was not good, but, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so, I have old art of me. Okay, this is, uh, this is from two years ago, but I want to show you this because it's in the same sketchbook as my recent art from like a month ago, and it just shows how much I don't draw, which sucks because I used to fill a sketchbook on top of a sketchbook on top of a sketchbook, and I don't know what happened, I think it was just time, just time happened, but let me show you. You see that? That's supposed to be me. It says, I am but a doll. It's me with a little mug. This is two years ago, like ex almost exactly, like April 20th, 2022. I can't believe that was two years ago. And then this is me. I don't know why I made myself look so exhausted. It says, with. Okay, I was listening to a song. That's so emo. That's so cringy. This is me and my dog. I look so tired. I drew- okay. I don't know. This is a snail. But I draw my dog a lot. I do. I love him. Okay. So, that. A page in my sketchbook two years ago. Um, if I just got a couple more pages. my most recent art in here, it's going to be, oh my gosh, you guys remember this? Yeah. That's a portrait of you. Okay. My pencil's going all over the place. Okay. This is all I've drawn in the sketchbook the past two years and not each of this page not each of these pages are full this is two years it's pathetic i'm sorry okay so i've always wanted to make a comic or like a webtoon kind of sorts 
but I never got around to it, I guess. I felt, maybe I'm not like, I don't know, I never felt like my art was good enough, first of all, and I never felt like my creative storytelling was good enough, but I always wanted to do it, like I created this whole world, and like this whole thing. Anyways, so this is an alien that I drew from the world. I love her. She's my little, she's my little cookie monster. I'm sorry, I dropped that paper so bad. Okay. So this is... <clears throat> her name is Zoria. And like, oh, she's an alien. She's from another planet. And she's got like long hair that's flowy. And she's got like big eyes, pointy ears. And she's a princess, but she's like a warrior. <laughs> and so, this is her like fighting gear, because right now I think her, well, not I think, I know her planet is at war. I don't know what this says. Oh, this says, so these arms have shields in them where she goes and like she can, the shield comes out of her arms. And her knees, her knee weapons, her, her knee guards shoot lasers. So cool. She's so cool. Okay. This is her wearing her helmet. Her name yeah, I already said her Zoria Antonio. Um, the sides of her helmet shoot lasers. I maybe I have a little thing with lasers, I don't know. That sounds nice. This is her in action. Oop. <laughs> this is her in action, jumping. Um, this is her in action again. See the knee laser in action. And then, okay. So then she goes to planet Earth, and this is her human form. Like, so this is her as a human. She's got like sad eyes, and she kept her little birthmark, her little, her little alien planet princess necklace, heirloom, whatever. She's got super long hair. This one's in this one's in a braid, um, and her ears, since they're like usually pointy, I just made her hair pointy, because obviously a human with pointy ears. very human, let's just say. But yeah, that's the last page that I have in the sketchbook, aside from like my little big planet stuff from my last video. Yeah, go check that out. Go check that out. Okay, so that's that. That's that with the sketchbook. Let me move on to my school sketchbook. Let's go through this. I got this last year. I got this last year. It's also not full. But we can go through it. start off, pretty much blank page. Okay, starting off strong. Next page is a bunch of, like, little art, I guess. This is my teacher as a dinosaur. Shout out to him, I love him. This is a ferret rolling around in styrofoam. This is a ferret where half of its body is styrofoam. This is a, some bird. 
This is a dodo bird with a wind up. This is a dinosaur plane. Sorry. But yeah, that's all that's on that page. And there's this. This is the dodo bird, but more like detailed and stuff. Because, so I chose this design. And my teacher gave us, like, uh, I forget what they're called, I don't know, it's like, it's almost like a, an eraser material, and then you carve it out, you put ink on top, and you stamp it. So this is the dodo bird, and I'll show you the final product of after I carved it out and stamped it. Or maybe I can find, I won't be able to find it. Okay, here. This was the final product after I carved and stamped. So, yeah. That was kind of cool. Next page. This is my friend. This is my friend on her phone. And she asked me to give her very long. Why? Because, I don't know. These are notes on ancient Greece. Notes on ancient Greece. Oh. This is a bunch of paint on a page. And then these are all my dog. Like, that's my dog, that's my dog, that's my dog, that's my dog, that's my dog. That's my dog. I may or may not love my dog. Here is rock painting practice. I'll show you the final product in a minute here when we get to the painting section. When we get to the painting section. But yeah, I just use this sketchbook to like uh, color swatch my colors, I guess you could say. See if I liked the colors I was using. I'm not going to show you this page. It's a bunch of doodles, but it's like it has some of my friends' names, and I don't want to put them out there like that. But just know I drew my dog on here three times. Three times. I drew Puss in Boots and the wolf. I'm not showing you that. It makes me like curl up inside. Okay. <sighs> oh, this was like concept art for like for drawing a peacock with perspective. I, you can't even tell, see? And the actual thing didn't even turn out good. Like, it looks like poop. I hated it. This is also practicing. So I was practicing drawing a grape. I mean, painting a grape. Uh, painting a green grape. But then up here is like, you'll see this, we'll see this later, we'll see this later, but this was practicing for a painting that I wanted to paint. We'll see the painting later. Yeah, we'll see it later. This is... I can show you... <clears throat> This is a page of my friends, and originally they didn't have their names, but then I, I went in and I put their names, so you, I can't show you the bottom half of this page, but I can show you the top half, which is like doodles. I can show you this, so it was, this was in October, this October or November maybe. It was October, because I was walking around, so it was lunchtime, and I was feeling, I wasn't feeling very good mentally, so I went on a walk on my own, and I just, I wasn't listening to music or anything, and I went through the neighborhoods, and I looked at all the Halloween decorations, and when I got back inside, I just drew everything from memory, and it was very therapeutic. So, I saw this little guy. Or he wasn't little, he was like 
he was tall. He was like eight feet tall, but he was pretty cool. This is a clown. This is not part of it. But I saw this tree and these three little ghosts. And I remember I was walking by a, a different tree, but it had a little wind chime on it. And I remember thinking about the wind chime. That's chemistry. Ignore that. I was thinking. <laughs> That's chemistry. Um, a little ghost up here. A leaf, I guess. A little truck. Yeah. This is working on like a cover page for my school yearbook, but it didn't get chosen. They didn't want my cover page. <clears throat> so this, this was a uh, first design of something that I was making. There was originally a circle here. It fell out. And I have no idea where it went. I think I just it threw it out. But let me show you. So this was what I was practicing, I guess you could say. That turned into this. It's just abstract stuff and like messing with texture. just turned into this little board that I made out of clay. You can look at it from like any angle, it doesn't matter. There's no real right setup in it. I messed with dimensions and uh, yeah. Next page. This... This is a page I will not show. It's like doodles, but then, you know, when you're drawing something, and then a friend decides to join in and draw something, and then other friends join in and they draw stuff, and the sketchbook looks like a mess, and may or may not have some inappropriate aspects. Yeah, that's what happened on that page. Hmm. There's this watercolor... Thing. It's supposed to be lily pads underwater, or, well, some sort of plant that does that. Like, this is underwater, and then this is, like, the bottom of the plant. I don't know. I don't know. It was, like, something I did really fast. Nothing interesting. Literally nothing. This was my own font that I was making created my own font. Came across the alien girl again because I can't stop drawing her, I guess. This is... Oh, this is a traffic light. Bleh. This is a traffic light that I'm currently making in class. Well, on my own with my teacher. It's like my own kind of project thing. Um... This is the alien girl again. Alien girl. Her hair again. Her laughing. Her and her. And and the girl that she meets when she lands on Earth. Oh my god, I don't want Angel to show this to you. This is her and the girl that she meets when she lands on Earth. Make of this what you will. This is the girl that she meets when she's on Earth. She's got short hair, bangs, little round face because she's so cute. This is the alien girl getting her hair braided by by this girl. Literally so cute. They're so cute. I love them. They're my little babies. Uh, anyways. The rest is just a bunch of design con concepts for a magazine. It's not much, like it's whatever. I don't think I have anything else. This was design concepts for a movie. I chose Ratatoing. We had to make like different movie posters for it. 
If you haven't seen Ratatouille, you're missing out. You really are. But that's it. That's all that's in this. Okay, let's move on. So that was this. show you my paintings. I started, well I didn't start, but like, I guess we'll start with like the least cool one, which is just some value practice and whatever. It's fine. Next. Um, I can show you this. Oh, wait, where is it? It's over here. This is like a little abstract painting. I, I don't really know like, yeah, abstract. This is sand. Ooh. I'm so happy you put sand on that now. That sounds good. Oh, but it's falling off. It's not falling onto my desk. But it's sand from Uruguay. Uruguay, Uruguay, Uruguay. Sand from Uruguay. We were tasked with painting something important and special to us. So one thing about me is that I have a little mini Vaseline that I carry around, carry around with me always. And if you think back to the little drawing I showed you of a Vaseline in my sketchbook, um, this is what that drawing turned into. I painted a little Vaseline. Because, and you know why? Because I love Vaseline. Sue me. Sue me. It's not the greatest. I definitely could have just put this on like, like this background is distracting. Um, the fabric is like whatever, but definitely the background would have to go. It would have to go if I was to paint this again. Um, other than that, it's fine. It's fine. So, I love my mini Vaseline. Um, I will show you this. These are my rocks. Oh, yeah, the the rock practice, the rock painting practice from my sketchbook turned into this. This is what I turned it into. I this sounds so good actually tapping on a canvas. Anyways, um, this painting, I was going to say something about it, but I forgot. I think I like how, so this is made with acrylic paint, but I like this painting because it looks like it was made with oil paint, so I think that's really cool. Like, they all sound so different. So this is like, I think it's, I don't know what to consider it. It's not realistic, obviously, but it's like, I wouldn't know, I don't know if it's abstract. It's, it is... Okay, so this is my grandparents' apartment. I painted it, but with, like, completely different colors. Like, it's, they're not these colors in real life. But it's my grandparents' apartment. And... Basically... Okay. Okay. Okay, I guess this is a little sad. But, um... 
So my grandfather passed away about, like, it's been two years. He passed away, like, two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago. And, um, this is the entrance to their apartment. And I gained inspiration from a Nicaraguan painter. That's why there's, like, all these colors and then there's these shapes and stuff. But, basically, my grandfather loved to eat avocados. So, I put avocados on the table. I made this painting like, um, I made it a couple months ago, uh, and he loved to read his Bible, so we have his Bible there. Got his Bible there. Um, but basically, I just wanted to paint the picture. I named this painting Esperando Te, which means waiting waiting for you and I wanted to show that there are still fresh avocados on the table and that his bible is still there and that was his favorite seat there's texture there he loved to sit here and here and when I put it against the light you can see the texture there to symbol like to show that that's where he used to sit that's where he used to be and that's where I still can see him but it's, I just wanted to put fresh avocados in the Bible because when he passed away, every time I went over to their apartment again, it was like, I was waiting for him, you know, he had, he had just gotten up to use the restroom and he came back, like, he had just gotten up to use the restroom, restroom. you know, there are still fresh avocados on the table, he's gonna come back for them, right? He's gonna come back for his Bible, right? You know, it's like, this feeling that he's not gone, he's just, he's just, like, absent temporarily, I guess, and I wanted to paint how I viewed the apartment after his passing, you know, the weeks and months after his passing, and how it was always, like, I felt like I was waiting for him, um, but now it's bittersweet because now when I enter that apartment, I don't expect him to be there anymore the way that I did before when he passed. Now I just know that he's, that he's gone and it's more like I see these places. I still see him in those spots and instead of waiting for him, I just miss him. But I know that he's gone. I've accepted that he's gone. But back then it was, it was the denial. It was this, he's going to come back. He's going to come back for his avocados. He's going to read his Bible and he's going to talk to me again. Sorry, didn't mean to drop that on you like that, but that's what this painting is about. And I thought I would share it with you, because honestly, if you're watching this, you don't have a hobby or anything like that, anything that you put your love into, get started, because this, this is therapeutic. That's all I have to say. Ooh, I smacked that thing like it meant to nothing to me. Okay, uh... Anyways, <laughs> moving on, this is my comfort food. This is my grandma's rice, and she usually tosses some beans in there, fries them a little bit, and she makes gallo pinto, and it is so good. It's so good, it's so good. I love it. It's so good. This rice is my comfort food, and that's why I decided to paint it, because it means the world to me. It means the world to me. I love it. Oh my gosh, it's fluffy, it's, oh, it's just, how does she make it the way that she does? It's like all her love, I think, that she puts into it. Um, there's texture there. I used like a sand texture to put like, to uh, make certain grains of rice pop out. But yeah. She puts like red pepper, green pepper and onions and oh my gosh this is my comfort food this is the world to me <laughs> next this this is incomplete i brought it home okay so i was painting it at school and then i brought it home with me because i was like hey i need to i want to finish this i never finished it it's been a couple months 
I have to step back. I need to push this chair back a little bit for this one. It's a bit bigger. But it's incomplete. But it's a stuffed animal with all its stuffing on the outside. And I was looking at it. And because, okay, so my, I gave, I bought this stuffed animal for my dog. And I was looking at it the other well, not the other day, obviously, because, okay, I was looking at it months ago, and I had seen all its stuffing was all over the ground of my room, and it's like, okay, well, you know, this toy needs to be thrown out now, you know, he's ripped out as much of stuff, like, as much of the stuffing as he can, and I just wanted, I guess I wanted to show that, like, to be loved is to be changed, I guess, like, his stuffing being all over the place doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing, you know, my dog loved the hell out of this stuffed animal, and that's why he just, you know, used him until he was the, at the brink. Like, I had to throw the thing out. But, it's not a bad thing that his stuffing is all over the place, but, yeah. It's incomplete. But it was a little sheep. I think, oh well, that's all the recent art that I have searched. Blech. Sometimes I wish I could speak, but that was all the recent art that I have to show you. Um, I just have, well, I have like one last thing, but you've already seen it in a previous video. This egg that I made, um, I made it for the school play. I made two of these bad boys, okay? The, my blood, sweat, and tears went into this because it took me about a month and a half or almost two months or maybe even I can't remember but it also was only like I only worked on it for an hour and 15 minutes every day or two hours but still a month and a half or two months to make this and one second one second give me a minute I'm trying not to make this loud Well, the egg had blue lights in it. I'll show a photo. I'll show a photo on the screen. So it had blue lights in it and this white light, but the blue light's battery died, so I can only show you this white light. But it's still cool. So it was a Harry Potter play, uh, and basically the actor went on the stage, you know, picked up the egg, was like, oh, egg, speak to me. And it, it would open like this. And yeah. It was really cool. But it's loud, so I don't know how it will work for ASMR. It's pretty loud. Sorry. Yeah. Um, this is pretty cool. I've never built anything like this. I had never built anything like this, and then I built it. So it's really cool when you try something and then things work out. Or, well, obviously it's not pristine, beautiful, perfect. It obviously looks homemade, but it's good. Uh, but yeah, that's all my recent art that I have to show you. And I just want to say, like, I spent, if you're still awake by now, I don't know, but I spent years of my life trying to pursue, like, I wanted to do chemical engineering. And I spent years of my life trying to focus my high school path on that and I for some reason 
I always wanted to ignore that more artistic side of me because I thought I wasn't going to go anywhere with it. I was like, what's the point, you know? I was always, actually I was frustrated with myself because I thought, why am I doing this to myself? Why do I like art? Like, where's it going to lead me? It, you know, a lot of people fail when they try to pursue their arts and stuff like that. And honestly, it made me not... <sighs> what I'm trying to say is that do what makes you happy because I spent years trying to pursue that more STEM focus, that scientific side, and it made me so upset, that math and everything, and I wasn't doing what made me happy, and I'm happy that I realized it now because I know a lot of people realize it later in the future, and I'm glad and I'm very grateful that I was able to snap out of it before I go off to university. So... I just want to say, like, if you're younger than me and you're watching this, or even if you're older than me, why are you stopping what you love? Like, do what you love. Do what you love. Make it a hobby. It's okay to indulge in that. Like, it is okay. And honestly, I feel so much happier now. And I feel great. I feel great. Uh, I'm not... Do what you love. Okay. Good night. Also, I posted two long videos this week. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Good night.